Hey, welcome back to Jazztime. Jazztime.com is an online store that buys, sells, and trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so you can easily choose the best watch for yourself in the comfort of your own home. We offer the lowest prices anywhere online, and if you'd like to know the price, simply click, simply click on the links in the description below. We greatly appreciate if you'd purchase your next watch from us at Jazztime.com. Today we'll be taking a look at the Datejust 31 from Rolex. This one with a dark gray dial, sunray dial, with Roman numerals for the hour marks with the Pave 6, I'll be going over what that means in a moment, with the fluted bezel, yellow gold with the two-tone yellow gold and steel, what they call the yellow gold Rolazor. Again, I'll be going over that, what that means a little bit later in the video. So starting off with the case, I'll be going over the case, the bezel, dial, the crown functions, as well as the movement and the bracelet. And I'll be giving my thoughts on these throughout this video. The reference number for this watch is 278273. The case, it's in the name, Datejust 31 from finger to thumb. That's the two to eight o'clock positions, same as the 10 to four o'clock positions, same 31 millimeters, same distance. You have the monoblock middle case with the screw down case back and the Rolex winding crown to ensure water resistance down to 100 meters or 330 feet below sea level. The casing itself, entirely made out of oyster steel, all high polish. The oyster steel being Rolex's own proprietary blend of the highest grades of steel with other minerals to make it so that it's incredibly strong and equally beautiful in the way that it it shines and lusters in the light, the way that it reflects light, absolutely beautiful. So you get the form and function together. Same with the fluted bezel on the front of the case, the yellow gold fluted bezel, nice and high polished and shines very nicely. Originally made with the intent of screwing directly onto the front of the case to ensure the water resistance. Well, modern technology doesn't really deem that useful anymore, but it's kept as a marked distinction and they always make it in some sort of gold. In this case, yellow gold. Matching that, we have the hands and the Roman numerals on this dial, uh, also in 18 karat yellow gold, what they call a, a sort of a Rolzor look. What Rolzor here means is that you have the combination of oyster steel for the casing and the yellow gold also, not just yellow gold itself, but solidified with that oyster steel so that it maintains not only the look, but also the strength of the rest of the casing. So it's incredibly strong in that regard. The Rolazor, that's what that means. The yellow gold here also sail, still the same with the hands and the Roman numerals on the dial, uh, all placed very, very nicely and regularly with uh, precision, basically. The number six there for the the hour mark actually consists of diamonds all also hand placed so that it basically very nicely shines in just about any angle depending you know as, as long as you have light it it's very very visible and also acts as a very good counterweight visually against the Rolex crown at the 12 o'clock position also on the dial you also have the Date aperture, small on the dial itself, but nice and large under that Cyclops lens, which is actually part of this sapphire crystal, all one continuous piece, nice and scratch resistant, so you always have a clear view into the dial. The hands themselves also 18 karat yellow gold, all center mounted. Gives it a very nice uh, contrast to that dark gray dial, also known as a sun ray dial because of the way that it's patterned the way that it plays in the light, it's incredibly beautiful with the way that the sunray or the sunburst type of pattern appears depending on your light source. All right, so we'll be going over the crown functions here. Rather simple, just simply unwind the crown at the three o'clock position. This allows you to wind the watch at the base position. Set about you know 20 to 30 full winds gets you to the full power reserve. Rather simple there. Pull the crown out to the next position. You can adjust the date by rotating it counterclockwise just a little under a quarter turn to advance the date by one. So if you find yourself a time traveler, well, you can see that this is quite useful. Pull the crown out to the final position. Note that the seconds hand does stop giving you that hacking function. So you can actually set the time nice and precise. But how do you do so without the index markers there to tell you exactly where the minutes are? You only have the hour marks. Well, what you can do is you can actually look at the rehaut, the rehaut of the uh, the engraving of the name Rolex on the inner bezel there in the steel portion. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up properly, but you can actually set the minute hand based on the position of that seconds hand. So it should be pretty close to one of the letters. 
just slightly overlapping the left side of the letter. Once you have the an atomic clock nice and synchronized up to that seconds hand, press it in to get it started once more. And don't forget to screw the crown tightly back into the case to ensure that superior water resistance. So what makes all this work on the inside? It's the 2236 made in-house by Rolex. Can't see through the case back, but you do have that added sense of security through that solid steel. Oyster steel, that is. You get the plus or minus two second per day time differential after casing, giving you the superlative chronometer certification as printed on this and every Rolex dial. You also have the center hour, minute, and seconds hands with the instantaneous date with the rapid setting and the stop seconds for precise time setting. All of those functions I just demonstrated using just the winding crown alone. The oscillator on the inside features a Siloxi hairspring in silicon with patented, with a patented geometry. Basically what that means is that the silicon hairspring is fully uh, it's not just magnetic resistant, it's amagnetic. You can throw this into an MRI and the movement will be keeping track of time, no problem. It also will protect from the impact of throwing it into the MRI using the high performance Paraflex shock absorbers, meaning that you can take physical blows to the watch. Obviously you'll take damage, but the movement will be keeping track of time, no problem there. The bi-directional winding is done through a perpetual rotor self uh, center mounted on the inside basically meaning that you can just wind the watch manually first put on your wrist and the natural movements of your wrist keep the perpetual rotor spinning which charges the mainspring barrel which then powers the power reserve approximately 55 hours for this watch meaning that you can keep this you don't even need to you know wind it or have it on your wrist just set it down for a couple days just be just be sure to pick it up at the end of that second day give it a little wind wear it on monday and you're good to go no need to wind the watch thereafter. And while I'm zoomed out here, you can see that we do have the Oyster bracelet here. The flat three-piece links across. Again, that rolls our presentation there coming through very nicely and beautifully. Center links, the intermediate links being a the yellow gold with the Oyster steel mixed into it. And on the outer links, all Oyster steel satin brush finished to give it that nice sense of contrast. Also, the added advantage here is you have the Oyster folding clasp with the Rolex crown logo on there. Lift from the top, opens up, unhooks nice and easy. You have the Rolex stamp logo on the inside with the full satin or the full stainless steel presentation there. The added benefit to the Oyster folding clasp is that you have the EasyLink 5mm extension. So if you have this watch sized perfectly to your wrist, and you were to walk outside during a hot summer day or you just get super dehydrated or you pound three liters of water. Either way, the extremes of the environment will cause your wrist to swell imperceptibly to others, but you will certainly feel it on the wrist. So all you need to do is just reach under here, pull it straight out, and there you go. Another half oyster link or another half, uh, basically another half oyster link or five millimeters of comfort extension. So that you can basically continue to wear your watch unhindered. When you no longer need it and it starts feeling a little bit loose around your wrist, just simply fold it back in on itself, clasp it back in, clips nice and easy back into the clasp itself. While I'm here, I'll also try it on my wrist once more to show it what it looks like on a seven inch wrist at least. All right, so kind of big, my wrist versus the watch, a little small. Well, it's because it's a mid-size watch. It's sort of unisex. For it, for a larger wrist, it becomes more of an accessory. For a smaller wrist down to say, you know, five centimeters or five inches rather, five centimeters, good God, your wrist is tiny. But hey, if you have a wrist down to about five inches, you can wear this, it'll have the nice wrist presence because not just the size, but also the presentation. That di The diamonds in the six definitely come forth and shine with that huge sense of contrast in lighting and color. Looking at it down the wrist, hardly any space underneath the lugs there, so it fits my wrist very nicely actually, even though it's incredibly small for me. The Oyster bracelet itself gives it plenty of breathing and with zero tolerance among the links means that you won't ever you know, experience any pinching or pulling of arm hairs. Feels very comfortable and it, it, uh, it allows your wrist to breathe very naturally throughout the day so you can wear this all day every day. Once again looking here at the uh, straight on presentation here. If I just move the light in my light box a little bit, you can you can see that basically in sunlight, you'll always have a clear view of those Roman numerals. Obviously with the camera presentation here, you're gonna see the glare that you can't really get out of that, but you can actually, if you see this in real life with your own eyes, 
the glare is basically barely noticeable if you even notice it at all. So it's actually very easy to read in any lighting situation, provided that you have the light. Again, if you don't have light, just to prove, prove it to you, there's no uh, luminescence there. It's just an index marker uh, you know, exclusive there. But the Roman numerals themselves, quite distinct in their own right. Gives it sort of like an Art Deco feel. But enough of what I think. What do you guys think about this watch? Let us know down in the comments below what you think about this uh, Rolex Datejust 31 with the dark gray dial the Roman numeral hour marks here with the Pave 6. Pave meaning the number of diamonds for the 6. Basically just the number 6 just fully paved with diamonds. Fluted bezel with the Oyster bracelet. Reference number again 278273. Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live with another video like this one. And as always, if you'd like to purchase this watch or any other watch, visit our store at jazztime.com. Links in the description below where you can get it for the lowest possible price anywhere online. Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you in the next video. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in Jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.